Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 1 win over Hungerford Town in the National League South. Adam, what do you make of that one? Oh. Um, I think, yeah, he's he just delighted to, to get the three points towards the end. I thought, you know, full um, respect to them, really. I thought, you know, their league position probably is a bit forced. They're on a good run, and you can see why. They've got some good young players uh, in their side. Um, you know, I made it really difficult, obviously, conceding the first goal as well. So, good battling um, qualities I thought we showed. Uh, we kept kept to what we do and kept believing in how we play, which I thought was really important. Um, yeah, and I thought the the um, the move for the penalty was was excellent. Um, you know, maybe on another day again, um, the defender sees a red card, but you know, it wasn't to be, and we we can't um, let that affect us. And I think we let that affect us a little bit too much first half. Um, but yeah, full credit to the lads to keep going and and um, come away with three points is is really important at this time of the season. That first goal in particular felt like a proper worthing move. The build up to it, it was again how we like to play as, as you say it felt like the team were sticking to their principles and despite no, yeah. early on yeah definitely uh, a little bit of quality wasn't it for Molly I thought um, you know, it was a little round the corner to Josh uh, it just released um, so much space and then great decision from Josh to, to square it for Miki to, to put it in and um, you know really well worked goal. I thought we had some other opportunities. Um, maybe the one that come across the Joel come a bit quick, but Kenny just guide it on the target and um, Josh had a header as well. Um, so there's one or two chances that we created first half, but probably you know we put some good balls in as well that we didn't quite get on the end of. Um, and yeah, it wasn't quite flowing for us in that top end of the pitch. But um, you know, like I say, full credit to, to them. I thought that was that was good. But it was obviously difficult because their goalkeeper had a, a hell of a game. A couple of really good saves from him from from close range, which never makes it never makes it easy. No, it was yeah. Josh has won. Um, you know, early on in the uh, second half, there uh, it was a great save, and you know he's a he's a pro on loan from Bristol Rovers, I believe, and you can see his quality. You know, like I say, there's some really good young players in their side. Um, you know, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's the only loan player they've got because um, there are some good talented lads on show and then like we have as well so um, yeah really important win I think um, you know we'll definitely play better and we have played better in the season not got nothing so you know they'll probably be disappointed for how well they did to not get three points and we're obviously delighted and results have gone our way as well in the playoffs a lot of teams have dropped points so it's a big boost for us on, on the standings just to touch back on that first goal for uh, Reese Meekham's slight bust from at the moment Never really scores a lot of assists, yeah. but three in three in a week for him. No, yeah, I thought um, you know he's been a bit disgruntled. Obviously, um, not disgruntled, probably the wrong word, but a little bit unhappy with the lack of game time. Um, you know, and like I say to earlier players, there's only one way to, to show that you should be starting is when you get your minutes on the pitch. You've got to take them, and I thought. The one bright spark against Oxford City was Rhys Meekham. And then he starts the next game, scores two goals, starts the one after that and scores. Um, you know, he looks like he's, he's back playing with full of confidence um, and wants to keep his shirt. And that's, that's the way it's got to be. Any successful team has that in the squad. And, you know, it is uh, a really, really good, exciting young bench we had today. Um, a lot of teenagers on there. Um, I think um, Liam's just turned 20, but the rest are teenagers, you know, so they're all desperate to come on and do well. Um, so, yeah, it's really exciting to have that sitting behind me, but, you know, we're just touching back on Reese. you know, when you get your opportunities, you've got to take him, and he's, he's certainly done that. Busy week now, uh, we've got another game Tuesday, probably one from playing Tuesday last week, so it's a really busy schedule, Chip, um, chip him town away. How are you feeling going into that? Is this another boost for confidence? Two wins on the row, on a row. Um, are you expecting a similar performance from the last two games? In a way, no, yeah, it's, it's going to be um, you know a away game, an early start. Um, so there's lots of different factors to to take into account. Um, you know the lads have got to prepare well for it. You know, make sure that we go there and we're ready to give a good account of ourselves and ready to to work hard. And we've we've got to see what I think. There's a couple with ice packs on in there. Um, Joshua won on his quad, I think. So. Um, you know, Lewis didn't feel too well. We had Ruben missing today with tonsillitis, so you know, we've got to see where everybody is. Um, reassess everybody on Monday, um, and yeah, we've got, got to go full of confidence. You know, we want to go on another little run because um, I think it's so tight at the top there. You know, anyone really in this league, as Hungerford's proved today, can take points off anyone now. Um, it's a real tight tightly contested league now um, so anyone that can get a bit of momentum now it's a really important time so we've got to do all we can to prepare properly and um, yeah like I say go with lots of lots of confidence and lots of energy
Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Cheers. Thank you.